I have a question. What the fuck? Hello, welcome back to this fanless game where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release, and I have four games today. I have Rocky and Bullwinkle Yoshi's Cookie, Blues Brothers, and Super High Impact. And our first game today is The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. And what's the matter, you? What's the matter, you? Look at that. Of Moose and Men, the Potslavanian super spies Boris Badenov and Natasha Fatal have stolen fabled treasures collected by Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now our intrepid heroes have to travel the globe to get them back. Bullwinkle locks horns with danger as he headbutts falling boulders and arranged rams. Rocky dodges enemies by soaring sky high and daring flying squirrel style. Leave it to Boris and Natasha to make life impossible for the plucky moose and squirrel. Deadly traps and terrible pitfalls have been set along the way by those diabolical fiends. Help guide Rocky and Bullwinkle and da 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 blah 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 blah. Bonus games feature cameos and other things and stuff. Uh, I, I always liked Rocky and Bullwinkle, the style of it. Uh, our beautiful story begins at downtown Frostbite Falls, where a major event is about is all about to take place. The grand opening of the Rocky and Bullwinkle Museum. Hooray! In attendance are oh well. Guess I skipped the story. Not a moment too soon, our heroes depart for the snow-covered Grimmialian. Grimalaya Mountains. In pursuit of the Porloin Prizes. The art style and the music are good. I think I might have rented this as a kid and it wasn't good. Why is that rock bound? Okay, so. And I'm dead already! Hooray! Can I be the squirrel? Oh. Yeah, there we go. Climb that moose. No? Right. Hey, okay, things are just gonna fall on my head and I can't really do much about it. Get that flower though. That's helpful. Oh yay, more mountain climbing. Let's take a break and And I'm dead. All the way back here. <sighs> I can't be bothered. Graphics. I like the art style. Everything looks like Rocky Bullwinkle. Um, sound is okay. We'll give that a four. Music, I like. It's seven. Sounds like the cartoon. Story is at least unique, I guess. Controls. That's yeah, where you lose me. Controls are not good. It's just kind of big, clunky controls. Funness, a three and a half doesn't hold my attention. A four, because it's Rocky and Bullwinkle. I think that might be the first time that a game holds my attention more than I think it's fun. Overall, though, it's going to get a three and a half. Not a great game. Just kind of clunky, hard for no reason. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Yoshi's Cookie. His ookie, ookie, cookie. Cookie Chaos for Mario and Yoshi by Bulletproof Software. The Tetris people. Back of the box, Cookie Chaos for Mario, Yoshi, Mario, and Yoshi are filling in at the cookie factory and the snacks are piling high. As fresh baked cookies roll out of the ovens, it's up to Mario to sort and stack them before they pile too high. Line up a row and the same kind of cookies, either vertically or horizontally, and they vanish. Clear the screen to move on to a new level of cookie chaos. Yoshi appears from time to time to stir things up. Play for a high score or go head to head against a friend or the computer. The mouthwatering madness doesn't let up. Extra puzzle game from the creator of Tetris. I don't want to know what 
see what she's been doing with those cookies. line up three cookies. Maybe it's four. I don't know. That's a row. Row cookies. Stage clear. All right, Yoshi. Ready? Start wanking that rod. Oh, can I speed this up somehow? <laughs> I'm the master of Yoshi's Cookie. I am a Yoshi Cookie God. It's no Tetris. Graphics, uh, it, puzzle game, what do you really need in graphics for? Sound, uh, we'll give that a four and a half. Music, we'll give that a four and a half as well. There is no story, really. It's uh, controls are fine. It's a four and a half. Funness, uh, it's just slow, at least at the beginning levels. I'll give that a four. Does it hold my attention? A three. I'd rather just play Dr. Mario or Tetris. And overall, I'm going to give it a four. That was Yoshi's Cookie. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Blues Brothers, based on that hit movie that kids all loved back in 1993. And the box art looks like a cartoony version of Jake and Elwood. Two-player action. And look how happy they are to be running from that crowd. The greatest rock and roll game is about to begin. The Blues Brothers. Backed by popular demand, the Blues Brothers are here to play the blues. Cruise along with Jake and Elwood. Those all-time rhythm and blues stars in this exciting platform game, an explosive mix of adventure, comedy, and great music. On their way to their first concert, they get trapped by the evil jukebox. You'll have to fly across the countryside, survive electrical chaos, escape from spooky sewers, and defeat deadly enemies to reach Chicago in time to prepare the greatest concert in history. Oh, this is not going to be a good game. Oh, and it's in, uh, you know, it's a portrait mode game. Yeah, okay. Under license from NBC. Oh, we're nowhere in for a bad time when it's Titus. Yeah, yeah, I'm a uh, Jake Gilwood there. Uh... Rock, 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 rock and roll. Yeah, that's Screams Blues Brothers. Is this a game where they just stuck a f slapped a franchise on and it's actually some other game that they just decided it was Blues Brothers all of a sudden? I have a question. What the fuck? Is this strictly a two player game? Is it is, isn't it? This is strictly a two player game. How weird. I'm gonna crawl on the ground. Come over here. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that's this game for you. I, I, I can shoot records at my brother. Make him dance or something. What happens when I run the records. Boy, that's fun. Yep. Great. Great. Let's rate it. I'm sure this game sucks. Uh, graphics, actually the bright and colorful. I'm gonna give it a five and a half there. Sound, doesn't seem horrible. Music, we'll give that a four. Story, a two. Controls, controls seem okay from my one screen I could get to. I give those a maybe a five. Funness, probably a three and a half. Does it hold my attention a one? And overall, it's going to get a a four. Why not? I don't know. I can't play it more than that. <sighs> Let's see what's next. Our final game today is hopefully not a exclusively a two-player game, and it's super high impact. High impact what? Football, apparently. Bone crushing arcade smash. And you got football guys cuddling on the front. This isn't just football, it's super high impact. It's the fast paced action of the bone crunching arcade smash. Quick action play selections get you into the action before you can say wicked hit. Choose from 18 hard charging teams and over 30 plays from a red dog blitz to a never say die superfly. You're toast if the hit o meter rates your tackle dweeb, but you can settle the score the old fashioned way with an all out team brawl when you're tired of watching football from the sidelines. Get into the button pounding action of Super High Impact. Whatever. The back of the box says Dweeb, so you know it's a great game from Acclaim. Theme software. Words. It could be Team Africa. Atlanta, Buffalo, Chicago, Cincinnati, Denver, Detroit, Europa, Kansas City, LA, Miami, New York, Oakland, Vegas, Washington, Pittsburgh, San Fran, Texas, the Af or Team Africa. I'm going to be Europa because they're from uh, Jupiter's moon. We're going to go against uh, Beefalo. Exhibition. Pro, he's got chains on his knuckle. That doesn't seem right. That guy's missing an eye. Let's be that guy. It's super high impact. Whoa. Is this the XFL? Yeah, we all move in the same exact way. We're choreographed. Oh, that look at that impact. It was super high. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's a football game, so I imagine you do that thing and then throw the ball. Oh yeah. We won. Wow! Such extremeness! So the easiest thing to do in the world in sports games is kick an extra point. Apparently I don't know how to kick. Dweeb! In your face, yes, sir. Get a sack. He dropped the ball. Yeah, okay. Cube. It's football with an attitude. Oh, I hurt the guy. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my knee. Poor man. Oh, 
Yeah, I just took out your player, so suck it. Hurt him. Uh. Oh, they're kicking it. Good thing I don't have anybody back. Oh, the field goal. You kick is good! Oh my god! It's funny because the gameplay is not really extreme, but like they, they put all this weird extremeness around it. I don't really understand. Oh, go, go, go! His head came off. Oh my god. His clothes came off. What the hell just happened? He was made of clothes. Yeah. Okay. This team doesn't seem all that difficult on offense. Not if I'm this good at it. Let's rate it. Graphics. Uh, graphics, we're going to give those a... Uh, I don't know, but I'm distracted by the screen here. Hold on. Look at her short arms. What the hell is going on? Anyway, graphics. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to give it a 4. Sound, uh, sound we'll give that a 5. Music, we'll give that a 3.5. Story, there is none at sports. Controls are okay. We'll give that a 4.5. Funness, a 4. Does it hold my attention? A two, and overall it's going to get a four and a half of super high impact. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.